Hi everyone, Aaron here for ZoloTech and iOS 12 beta 8 has been out for a few days as has public beta 6, which is the exact same thing. I've been running it on my iPhone 10 along with the SE and my iPhone 7 Plus. We'll talk about those in a moment, but I've had it on this device for that amount of time. I had beta 7 on this one. Apple pulled that beta because it had some performance issues. They were really bad. At times you'd open something like the App Store, it would completely freeze. You couldn't do anything and then maybe you'd reboot. It might or may not work. It's it's hard to say when it would work. So then they pulled that beta and then a couple days later released beta eight and it's been working great ever since. Beta eight is the beta that we have all been waiting for. It is the most stable of any of the betas I've used. And there's only a few complaints at this point. And you'll see I just hit 10% battery life and I've been using this all day so I could show you the battery. So before my battery dies, let's do that. We'll go to settings. We'll go to battery. Now my battery health is at 100% still. And I'm not sure why, but that's great. And you'll see over the last 24 hours, I have two hours and 55 minutes of screen on time over the last 10 days, three hours and 11 minutes. Now this is not to be confused on iOS 11 with overall usage time because this is actual screen on time with the battery. I know some people have said, I don't use my phone a lot. I actually do use it quite a bit. If we take a look at We'll take a look at screen time. I'll show you. So you'll see on screen time, it says 29 minutes screen time. I'm not sure why it hasn't recorded much. I did turn it off a little bit the other day when we had beta seven because it had some issues, but you'll see pickups 108 times per day, uh, 757 total pickups, 1590 notifications over those amount of days. I'm usually using it for these apps right here. Inbox, YouTube, Studio, Instagram, Twitter, social media, messaging, things like that. I'm using it for all of those things regularly and it's working well. Now on these devices, it's been great as well. There's only been four issues that people have mentioned and none of them had to do with speed or stability with the exception of wallpaper. If you go to change the wallpaper, sometimes the screen will respring. I've seen this on iOS 11 and even iOS 10 years ago. That's not an uncommon thing. So they need to fix that, but opening apps, things like Minecraft, I already have it open here. You can just resume and you'll see it's completely playable. I haven't had any issues with normal apps. Things feel fast and fluid, no issues here. And the other three things, some people have said they had bad battery life, and that's just going to vary depending on who you are, how you use your phone. But four hours of screen on time is about right for an iPhone 10. And then other people are saying that it freezes when they receive phone calls. So if you're receiving a phone call, it doesn't matter what device you're on, uh, they receive a phone call and it would completely freeze. So that's a bug that definitely should be reported in the feedback app if you haven't already. Make sure you do that and that's really it. The performance improvements across all these devices is great. And many of you are going to ask, should I install it if you haven't already? And the answer is at this point, I'd say it's pretty safe. If you're willing to deal with, maybe it might get a little bit hot because it's doing something in the background. Maybe you'll have bad battery life. You might get the respring while setting wallpaper and it may freeze when receiving calls. Other than that, everything seems to be working. Okay. And with the next betas, it should get a lot better. So right now, we're on the 19th as I'm recording this. I expect expect maybe an, a beta in a couple days and then maybe another one before the final release, probably on the week of the 10th. I'm not sure exactly, but that's what I'm expecting at this point. Now, for those of you that keep asking me about Waze and Google Maps being on CarPlay, that is something that Google has to update. Google owns Waze and Google Maps, so they need to update those apps to work on CarPlay and they may not turn that feature on until then. Now we lost FaceTime group chats with this beta or with beta seven rather. We won't see that in the initial release of iOS 12, but we'll see it later on. So we'll look for that. Now, according to what you had to say, I did a poll and I asked a couple different questions this time after about four and a half thousand votes. And thank you for everyone that voted. Uh, 49% said great. That's a phenomenal number. Only 4% said terrible. That is way down from what it was before. And 21% said, okay, but some bugs, 14%. They don't like the polls. They just want me to tell you, tell them what, what it's like for me. And then 12% use Android. So I've read every single one of these comments. I obviously can't read them all right here, but the vast majority of those, those of you that actually commented say that it's really great. The few that I mentioned, the bugs before, 
such as iPhone 6S Plus, the battery life is not good and the battery percentage is also buggy. Uh, those are the few exceptions through all these comments. So I appreciate everyone that commented. Like I said, I read every single one of these. There's, I think, 160 comments, something like that. But many of you are saying great, great, great on just about every device. 7 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 8 iPad Pro. Oh, and I did use this on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch first gen iPad Pro and it's working great. I've had zero issues with it. So that part's really good. Great. Okay. But some bugs, I've had a couple apps freeze and that's the minority. I've, I haven't really seen that much found when receiving phone calls. That's the one I was talking about. The dial doesn't work and stays frozen. Messages can open with no keyboard or text. And again, that's a minority. So you will receive bugs with betas, but this is by far the best one I've seen. So I would say you could try and install it. The instructions will be in the description or at least the links to how you can get it through Apple and the instructions on their are on their page. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you looking forward to iOS 12? I know it's not terribly exciting compared to previous releases, especially since group FaceTime is not in it anymore. But let me know your thoughts about it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.